Hi, this is a, just a short video explaining exactly the problems I've had with Barker's Cabinets, who came highly recommended online, and I spent about $1,300 for two very simple cabinets, a sink base and a spice cabinet. As you can see in the kitchen, in that corner uh, will sit the stove, then the sink base, no, then the spice cabinet, then the sink base, and we have a small washing machine here. Now, it is uh, January 28th. I ordered these two cabinets on October 10th and was told five to eight weeks delivery. I did see on some of the comments that they were a little late on delivery. So I was not very surprised when on around, and I'll, I'll edit these in if I can, around December 20th, the very first thing I received was this piece here. And it was all one, you know, box, very well packed. They were impeccably packed, but I had no clue what it was. There was no description to it. There was no nothing. So I unpacked it. I immediately emailed them. I said, well, you know, what is this piece? And they said, oh, that's the interior of the spice cabinet. Okay, great. Uh, so the other pieces must be coming soon. Uh, a few weeks later, I got this piece. This is supposed to be the end cap, which will go against that wall uh, because the washing machine comes to here and then we needed you know, a piece. So it came alone and I was a little surprised because I thought I had ordered everything just a flat white, which is exactly, as you can see, like this. These are Ikea cabinets that I got for the other wall because they were simple. They didn't need to be custom. So I got this piece and upon inspection, I saw, well, look at that imperfection. That's, you know, a little funny, but how about that? That's what bothered me. And it's not a peeling paint. It is, and as I told them in the letter I wrote them, uh, you know, I've been a, been a scenic carpenter for years, and uh, that looked as though, you know, that this whole piece maybe sat on the edge of something as it was being painted, and something scraped across it while it was still wet, because that's not a crack, it's not a peel. Let's see if it'll focus again. I know this is, there we go. Uh, but it's an imperfection. Well, you know, when you're paying, I think that piece alone was $150. Um, and I wrote them and they simply said, oh, no big deal, it's an imperfection. Okay, great. So now I'm not getting any real quality control from them. Well, then, you know, the eight weeks come and go, and I, I keep asking, you know, where are my pieces, where are my pieces? It was after 12 weeks that I, I got another shipment, and it was this, it was the sink base, but it was only, and I'll try and edit in a picture again, it was only the base itself. This, there's a French apron sink that needs, you know, that cross platform to hold the weight wasn't anywhere to be included. Uh, okay, then I received a couple of weeks later, another shipment, and that was this. This is the custom sink cabinet, and it was uh, unassembled with no instructions whatsoever. Um, this had no instructions. It, it had, you know, Sorry, this side piece, this side piece, this base piece, and then a piece back here and a piece up there that we couldn't figure out what they were supposed to be. Again, no instructions. You know, did those go flush? Did, you know, what were they for? And I even asked about it. They ain't got no real response. Fortunately, I have a handyman who started to put it together when this piece arrived just a couple of weeks ago. Again, I said I ordered October 10th. I think this arrived January 20th, and he puts it together, and then he said, you know, we notice, what the hell is that? This is, you know, a flaw in how they put the veneer on. Uh, we tried using a glue to get it to adhere. It was even more out. Uh, so now we've got a piece that... I don't know that we how we can possibly use it. It's, I mean, that's the sink is here. It's visible. There's a door that sits here. 
I think that may cover the door, but oh, I didn't tell you the hinges. They sent uh, the two doors came, but only one hinge. One out of four hinges. Okay. And then there's this piece, which is the, the cabinet. This is the interior of the cabinet. There are two drawers that fit here, and they're supposed to have pegs. Uh, we didn't get the pegs either. But we did get the sliders, and we did get these things, which apparently the sliders go into, but again, absolutely no instructions. I went online to find a video. I couldn't find anything. They sent me a link showing me a video, uh, which didn't detail how these go in, but you know, it seemed pretty clear. You know, they go flush here, they go flush here. They had pre-drilled holes down here, and in the video he said, make sure you use these holes or it won't go right. Well, there was no close-up. You, you were seeing literally, you know, use these holes. Well, I don't know what holes you're talking about. So I, I uh, installed this to, you know, see, and it slides, but it's very uh, crunchy. The problem is that, as you can see here, it's, this unit is upside down. This is the bottom, this is the top, and see about four inches in, right about here, is where the other set of gliders go, but there are no pilot holes here. There's a pilot hole here, that's a pilot hole, which is the same pilot hole that was here, but four inches down, it's just plain naked wood. And it wouldn't be hard if you could just get in there and level this off, but it's a custom made. And as you can see, you can't get a screwdriver in. So I had to take the sides apart to try and figure it out. Can't get a drill you know, to go in. Uh, you could possibly go out. There's no way. You know, you can get in here. So I have actually, you know, taken the sides off, but without an actual template showing me exactly where this is supposed to go on both sides, uh, this is a useless piece of equipment. And, you know, I'm not a dummy. I can follow instructions. Uh, these are the instructions they did send, which uh, has uh, a lot of typos. And as you can see, you know, the text, see that text? What, what the hell is that? All the text in here is covered with gobbledygook, so you can't even read it. Uh, and these are texts, these are um, instructions on how to build a standard kitchen base. Well, I didn't get a standard kitchen base. I got a kitchen base for a French apron sink. So I've been having email after email. You know, instead of five to eight weeks, it took well over 12 weeks. And what I got was damage here, uh, incomplete here, damage here, and I'm screwed. Uh, this is still my kitchen. As you can see, I really don't have space to lay that piece out uh, on two sides, measure if I had a T-square and a level. I could probably figure out how to make those rails fit quite you know, well. Uh, it took me about an hour to put together IKEA with their, you know, their instructions and you know, their manual. It's really quite clear. So uh, in all fairness, uh, Barker Cabinets got tired of hearing from me, and they have refunded my money. Uh, I will either have to use that money to hire a carpenter to repair this and put this together, and I don't know what we'll do about that, um, 